I'm Jennifer Anderson and I've worked for Emory Valley Centers um, for 11 years and we provide supports and services to adults and children with disabilities. We provide personal assistance for adults. We um, provide transportation for all the individuals we transport them to and from the center and then for activities out in the community. And then we have the largest early intervention program in the state of Tennessee. We serve over 400 children in a home and community based program across 16 counties. And then we have a center based program that's inclusive that we support about 50 um, children in that program. There's children with disabilities and children without disabilities. And then we have a family support program that serves over 200 individuals over a 10 county area. I think now it's really exciting um, getting to build a new building. Um, a lot of the individuals across the street, some of them were in there 50 years ago when they went to school. And so they've been here for so many years and for them they know something exciting is happening. You know, that some, some know exactly what it is, some don't know, you know, when folks come and we ha we've had a press conference here where people have given donations and they know something really exciting is happening and so that's really exciting. And then for them to get a whole new facility, you know, will be a really great thing. We've developed a facilities committee off of the board of directors and we're currently in the design criteria phase. We're trying to do some of that ourselves and we actually took the information the, the design center, East Tennessee Design Center, had, had kind of started that process and we actually took their initial beginnings of it and now we've expanded it. It's like 14 pages right now. And we've sat down with all the different staff at all the different levels and gotten their input. We've had um, some therapists from the state of Tennessee who have come out and given input. Um, and so we're at that point and we probably, in the next few months, will actually put on an RFP for an architect. So that's kind of where we are in the process. And we've raised almost half of what we need. Um, it was, you know, it was, it was a good initial start to a bigger project. It was really good to kind of get your feet wet, get some plans in your hand, and then it gives you somewhere to go and it gives everybody an idea of what you want. And it, and it really can help in the fundraising to have something in hand because if you just say, yes, we want to build a new building and you don't have anything to show, then people are just like, well, we don't know what it's about, but if you actually have some, some plans of what it's about, it gives people an idea of what your vision is and what you want, if they want to be a part of that.